Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the continuation of my recommendation series based on book covers by The Colour of the Rainbow. Today's instalment is Yellow Covers. So the first book that I'm going to talk to you about is um, a dystopian thriller uh, with a little bit of horror thrown in um, that I read quite a few years ago now. It's um, a book series that I picked up not long after I first had a Kindle. So around about 2011, 2012. And this book is Ashes by Ilsa J. Beck. This is about a young woman and her grandfather who are out in the woods on um, a nature trail. And a pulse, an electromagnetic pulse goes out around the world um, and everything stops. So um, planes fall out of the sky, watches stop, um, radio stop, mobile phones no, are no longer working and her grandfather has a pacemaker and his heart stops and she's left stranded. On top of that we get some monsters appear um, in the form of zombies so it's a bit of a zombie book as well. Um, this young girl she has to travel to try and find safety and she joins up with a group of people and it turns out that uh, the zombies are created in um, people of a certain age, between um, un in between certain age groups. So anybody under a certain age or anybody over a certain age have stayed fully human. However, those who are younger than that age will become zombies when they hit that age. And it's all about survival, survival of the fittest, survival in the wild. And I can't really tell you anything more than that. All I remember um, is just this impression of zombies and this girl fighting for her life and the journey that she goes on and how they're trying to fix the world and fix the problem. Um, but I did thoroughly enjoy them. Again, I'd picked up the series when only two were released. It is a trilogy. Um, and I think the second book is called Shadows and the third book is called Monsters. And again, I thoroughly enjoyed them. Um, zombie books aren't usually my thing. Um, that that kind of level of horror isn't my thing. Zombie movies aren't my thing. Um, but I did thoroughly enjoy this book. And I was really glad that I picked it up because it's something that I wouldn't ordinarily have picked. And that's what I found that having a Kindle was doing for me at that time. It was recommending books to me that I wouldn't normally have, have read. Um, I, it's not something if I'd gone to the bookshop I would have read the blurb and put it back on the shelf um, but yes because I was reading outside of my comfort zone and trying to get out of a huge slump at that point this really really actually helped me with that the next book I'm going to talk about isn't really a yellow cover it just gives me the impression of yellow or at least the cover version that I've got and that is Duncan Wood by William Horwood this is a book that I read I think I was very early teens and it was one that my mum had on the shelf and I think she kind of went here read this you might like it and it's basically based around um, moles and religion and I can't really tell you any more than that other than it's um, about a mole who goes on a quest uh, I think there's a, in total I think there's nine books I think there's three trilogies which make up a series Duncan Wood is the very first book of them all um, and it follows various uh, moles through life, love, death, um, re finding religion, uh, battles um, and yeah I just I've read it a couple of times and I don't see it talked about very often anymore. Um, it's not one that you see really on YouTube um, at all. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody mention it on YouTube at all. And it's one that I had all nine books um, and I read them, like I say, I think I read the, the original trilogy when I was in my early teens. And then in my very late teens, very early twenties, I used to have to travel for work um, to, I used to have to go on an hour's bus journey every day to get to work. And I just consumed books um, I could read a couple of fantasy novels a week um, so and I did pick up the other six and read them then and I just remember reading them I enjoyed them at the time um, they were great fun uh, they're quite serious as well 
and they have some quite serious themes and I, I just I think I really do think I need to pick them back up again at some point um, and read them I do have Duncan Wood like I say um, and yeah I just need to get on and read them the next book that I'm going to show you is more gold than yellow but I kind of went with yellow theme um, variations of yellow and this book became a favourite of mine last year and that book is Lancelot by Giles Christian. This is a retelling of uh, the Lancelot um, myth uh, from the Arthurian legends and I thoroughly enjoyed it. This follows Lancelot from a small boy and um, how he ends up being trained by the priestesses and then ultimately moves across into Arthur's court. And there is a little bit of the Guinevere a uh, love triangle in there as well um, because obviously you can't tell the story of Lancelot without telling that but I really really enjoyed this in-depth um, retelling because a lot of the retellings that I've read are very short um, almost always completely focused on the Guinevere love triangle um, and it was just really refreshing to read something that was actually told from a different point of view and um, was actually then based in more in kind of like what we know of what was happening with um, the Saxon raids um, in the UK or in England, Britannia, as we were at that point. So I really thoroughly loved it. I've got Camelot, which is the follow up. Um, and I really need to get on and read that one because I, I can't believe I haven't read it yet. I've been dying for that one to come out in paperback uh, so that I could get it because I, I can't have partial series in paperback and hardback um but i was dying for camelot to come out and i really need to get on to reading it because i just thoroughly enjoyed lancelot um and again i think it's going to be one that i reread again at some point i don't think it's one that's just going to sit on my shelves as one that i previously read and the next book is a series starter from a very recent series that i read and that is fool's assassin by robin hobb this is the first book in the Fits and the Fall trilogy, which is the final series in her Realm of the Elderlings overarching series. And this book just cemented how much I love Robin Hobb's writing. I was a little disappointed with the series previous to this one. So while I was full of trepidation for how emotional this book was going to be, um, I was also a little bit little bit concerned about the quality of writing um, when I thought about how I felt about the previous series. I needn't have worried, this just cemented how much I love Fits and the Fall and I just, I, I couldn't ask for a better ending to a series. I absolutely loved it. It didn't have the emotional punches that Tawny Man series did, um, but it did, it did tug on the heartstrings, it did make me cry, it did make me angry. And again, I'm going to reread these books at some point and I don't think it's going to be very long before I start rereading Farseer Trilogy and push right through and read them one after the other because I think this series is going to warrant that at some point. But as a series starter, trilogy starter, um, you don't, don't read these if you haven't read the previous ones. It spoils things for you. Um, you do need to start with the Farseer Trilogy and you do need to work through all 16 books, even though it's five series. Um, if you need to, read them as individual series, but read them in series order is my recommendation. And only then would you then dip in and out because you'll then get some of the backstory. But again, absolutely thoroughly adore this book and this series and this writer. I would read, if she wrote an obituary column in the newspaper, I would read it. That's how much I love her writing. And the final book that I'm going to talk about in this video, I don't know many fantasy readers who do not enjoy this author's work. Um, he is a staple in the fantasy genre. He is the father of fantasy considered. And this book, as much as the fact that it's yellow, is representative of his of, of the author itself. But the book that I'm going to hold up is The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. I discovered Tolkien when I was 10. There was a play that came to school um, and I've said all this before and they put on a production of The Hobbit. I then found a copy of The Hobbit and 
um, read that and absolutely loved it. I then didn't continue my journey with Tolkien until my late teens, early 20s. Again, I, it was while I was working an hour's bus journey from where I currently live. And I picked up the first book. Um, I picked up The Fellowship of the Ring, ploughed through it, because I do find the, the initial stages um, a bit of a slog. For me, the story really doesn't start picking up until they get to Bree. Um, and once they get to that point, I'm gone. The books are gone. I'm away with the story and and yeah absolutely adore Tolkien's writing I'm still working my way through um the works that were released posthumously uh which give you lots of history into Middle Earth and also um tell various other stories from Middle Earth so I'm looking forward to working my way through those I've read some of them previously so they are rereads um but I just love his writing and and Yes, I do credit Tolkien with igniting my love and passion for fantasy writing. So those were my recommendations based on the covers being yellow or various shades of yellow. Have you read any of the ones that I've picked up and recommended? Or what about you? Uh, what covers, um, yellow covers do you have that you would recommend? Let me know in the comments down below and I would love to chat with you all there. If you've enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. I put videos up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!